Corby admits he had no idea of student debt policy cost as Tories say voters were misled. Labour is facing fresh calls to apologise over its student debt U-turn but Jeremy Corby today denied ever saying the party would completely abolish it. The party was co-utally reported as saying it would scrap tuition fees and debt ahead of the general election, which helped attract a huge number of youth votes and earn the party a number of new MPs in June. Ahead of the vote, Mr Corby spoke on student debt, which saddles some adults with upwards of £20,000 debt. The Labour leader said he would deal with it he told NME, yes, there is a block of those that currently have a massive debt and I'm looking at ways that we could reduce that, ameliorate that, lengthen the period of paying it off, or some other means of reducing that debt burden. The comments came after Labour generated a huge swell of student support when they made a manifesto promise to scrap tuition fees, which increased to £9,000 a year under the coalition government in 2012. But speaking on BBC's Andrew Marr show today, Mr Corby said he never meant the party would abolish current debts as they had no idea how much it would cost he said, I pointed out we had written the manifesto in a short space of time because there was a surprise election but that we would look at ways of reducing that debt burden, recognizing that a lot of it is never going to be collected anyway and try and reduce that burden we never said we would completely abolish it because we were unaware of the size of it at the time. Shadow Education Secretary Angela Rayner is also facing pressure from her Tory counterparts to apologise for ditching an election pledge to wipe out graduate debt Ms Rayner appeared to be distancing Mr Corby's party from the promise made to young voters, in the Commons last week she sparked outrage when she said, we have no plans to write off existing student debt we never promised to do so. Education Secretary Justine Greening has now written an open letter demanding Ms Rayner apologise for abandoning a clear commitment to reduce the debts of millions of people. She wrote, in pretending that the Labour Party never intended to clear student debt, you are further misleading those who put their faith in you. Ms Greening said a fake impression was given to young voters and that Labour should rectify it she wrote. Given your party leader has campaigned under the banner of straight-talking honest politics, I look forward to your imminent apology and clarification. The Labour Party said it had never extended the promise to those who had already graduated a party source said, Jeremy said he was looking at ways to ease the debt burden, the repeatedly made it clear we had no specific proposals on the issue as of yet. Ms Rayner was reported to be bragging about being called the new Nye Bevan the Welsh hero of the post-war Labour government by Labour party peers thanks for watching, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.